This is Snoopy. Snoopy is a ball python. Ball pythons are native to West Africa. They don't get very big. Located in Deland, the Reptile Discovery Center is a unique facility where visitors are exposed to a wide variety of reptile species. In the center Serpentarium, dozens of the world's most dangerous and exotic snakes are on display, including a 13-foot king cobra and a 14-foot Burmese python. The center also features an outside nature trail, which houses alligators, lizards, tortoises, and other reptiles, which can be seen up close in their natural environments. So this year we're exhibiting a few new animals. We've got um, something called the Sri Lankan palm viper, which is a beautiful little arboreal pit viper from Sri Lanka. They're um, turquoise and blue and black. It's not an animal that's commonly seen in captivity, kind of a fun one for people to see. We're exhibiting some new red pygmy rattlesnakes. This is just a color variant on our uh, native dusky pygmy rattlesnake that's found right here in Florida. And we've always got a few new offerings on the trail. Those change periodically through the season. Though the reptile zoo is fascinating, the real reason for the center is to maintain dangerous and some deadly venomous snakes and harvest their venom. The Metoxin Venom Laboratories is a commercial uh, venom production facility and we maintain about a thousand venomous snakes at any given time. Usually uh, a little better than half of those are on the venom rotation or what we call on the venom line. That means they're being handled every 14 days or so to harvest their venom. Those venoms are used to make antiserums. Um, the Discovery Center and, and Medtoxin don't make antivenom. That is a large pharmaceutical process. A medical company makes the antivenom. But we work in conjunction with several other laboratories in the United States, harvesting snake venoms, which are then used to immunize a host animal, a horse or a sheep, and that's what antivenom is. It's an equine, a horse, or an ovine, a sheep antibody that is made to raw snake venom. The Reptile Discovery Center is just one of a handful of facilities in the world that can view venom extraction in a safe and comfortable environment. We're going to begin our venom program in just a few minutes. Mm -hmm. The program is narrated so you have an excellent understanding of what's happening as we go through it. There are six laboratories here in the U.S., the Reptile Discovery Center being one of these, and roughly 30 worldwide. Some of those privately owned, whereas others are set up by the government. The center, we are constantly raising uh, a good deal of the animals that are used in venom production. So every year we pick certain animals or species that we're going to be working with uh, based on a variety of needs. And then oftentimes those animals are bred right here in house and raised up. Many of the snakes you'll see on the venom line have been with us now almost 20 years uh, producing venom for that entire time. Each day at the uh, center that we're open, Thursday through Sunday, we offer uh, two venom programs, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and then one venom program on Sunday mornings and people can come in and watch the snakes handle to harvest their venom. The program is narrated. This magnificent reptile is found in a variety of habitats and often coexists with a large number of other species in gopher tortoise burrows. So there's an explanation of what's happening behind the glass and we're handling coral snakes and copperheads, rattlesnakes, cobras, these kind of things. Again, and you get to watch this process. The animals are handled safely, of course, behind glass. So it's a safe viewing for the public and you uh, uh, have the chance to watch these animals bite and this unique branch of science called venom extraction and you can witness that up close and personal here at the center. To learn more about the center, visit reptilediscoverycenter.com. For Volusia Here and Now, I'm Kendra Lee.